Today we're going to learn how to run a program, a simple program in BlueJay. So I had an earlier video where you learned how to install BlueJay. Once you have it installed, uh, you go to, onto the, the internet and find a simple Java program that you want to run. And this is happens to be a, a pretty good one. I'll put the link in the uh, information section of the video. So find this and then go to BlueJay, open it up, double click. And then, if you have a project open, you, you should close it. Uh, go to New Project. And then you want to call it something, um, say, Test, just for fun. And you want to watch uh, where you put it, uh, in, in where you actually select. So I want to put it in Test 2 folder. Hit OK. Now, uh, this is what makes uh, BlueJay so simple. I'll show you. So first thing you want to do is, uh, this, is this is in your notes section, we'll talk about that in a moment go to new class okay so most of these you don't have to use at this moment when you're first learning Java and, and how to use the, the IDE but we'll call this the uh, class name test it doesn't really matter we're just trying to get you get the concept down so hit OK so now once test is there then you hit open editor you right click on test, op left click on open editor, and then you go back to the page, select all of it, make sure you get all the brackets, copy, and go back down to open back up your, uh, expand this right here, then you want to I this is the way I do things. I go to the bottom. I put it at the bottom first. Hit Control V. Okay. Then you want to put a space here. Okay. So this is the code that they give you by default. It helps you learn Java. Uh, this is the comment section right here. This is uh, declaring your your test. What I called it. Well, what I'm going to do. Uh, if this is fine to use later on, but for this, the purposes of this uh, video, I'm going to uh, comment out everything that they give you. But I'm going to leave it there for for uh, people to see. So it's good to uh, it's a good learning tool to find out how Java is uh, is constructed. What I love about this over Eclipse and such is true that BlueJay is limited, in my opinion. Uh, you compare it, the the heavy Java programmers are always using Eclipse um, or uh, NetBeans or something else, but the point is is that uh, this is really good for simple things, and that's what I love it for. Uh, to me personally, Eclipse is uh, not that great for simple things compared to BlueJay, because BlueJay Blue Jay, in literally minutes you're up and running. Uh, with NetBeans or Eclipse, it could be it could be over it's overcomplicated for simple things. That's my opinion, uh, but everyone's entitled to their opinion, so. So basically, I commented out everything uh, up here, and everything. This is already another type of a way to comment right here, with the forward slash and the stars, but and also two two uh, forward slashes also comments out. So uh, I knew that they didn't have to be commented out. So later on, when you when you get better, you just simply write a description, your name, the date, and it helps with versioning. Okay. So then have this at the bottom. Or you could have just wiped it all out. It's fine too. Uh, hit Control A and then Control V. Um, anyway, so here's your you're importing the Java util. Okay, hit compile right here. Okay, now you're looking down at the bottom to see when you do that to make sure there's no errors. If you don't see any errors at the bottom, uh, then it's it's good right around here. So right below here. So then we will short. X out of this real quick. Go back up. You're back to, you just wanted to get out of that screen. From, you could have left it up, but I just, uh, I usually X out. So then what you want to do is, let's see, that, that's to go back in. Two left clicks. Right click and go to void main. In, in this case, on this, on simple programs, you don't put anything in, okay? Hit okay. Now that's, that's the program running. That's what the program does, random numbers. So it generates random numbers. So every single time, see? 
0157-110-7775. X out. Right click again. Void main. Hit OK. And so it's it's outputting to the same um, me, me clear it. See, but notice how they're different. So me clear it out. X. Do it again. You'll see random numbers, more and more. So this this shows that it's a very simple program to show you how you know uh, to run a program in uh, BlueJ. Okay. And when you want to save it, hit save. Okay. If you wanted to export it, you can create a jar file for this, but that's that's too complicated for this video. It's, it's not unbelievably complicated, but it's uh, it's not the, the, within the scope of this video. So um. That's it. So now you've done your first uh, Blue Jay program, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Later on, I'll, I'll talk about other things. Um, oh, there's one more thing I, I want to show you, real quick. Let's see. Open that project. Okay. So when you're in it, one of the things I like to do. And I, this has saved me literally hours and sometimes days of work. Is after you're done with the program, hit Control at, at certain points of the day. Say you're programming all day, three times a day in the beginning of the day, middle of the day, and the end of the day, you want to save your your file. So um, hit Control A, hit Control C, and then open up Not Notepad and copy it in there, and then save it, and, and put the time, the date, and the time. And the reason why is because there have been times when uh, I've lost literally hours and, and in one or two cases days of work because I did not save it and something I screwed up somewhere on, on one of my lines and I could not, this is extremely complex code I'm talking about, not something simple, and I simply lost days worth of work because of uh, I could not figure out where the problem was. Because you know, I'm coding along, everything's fine. It's working fine, and suddenly it stops working fine, and I could not. I, I could I did the debugging and everything. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It was something else. And uh, all I had to do was simply save it in a text file. It's simple as that. And ever since I, you know, figured out this trick, you know, constantly saving every few hours, uh, it's it's time consuming, but believe me, it's worth it. I guarantee you. So it's good coding practice. And uh, so, all right. So this has been Immersus Tech, and uh, uh, it was a pleasure making this video for you. Thank you.